Hello, hello, hello. Today I wanted to talk to you how I figured out that there was more to reflexology than just rubbing feet. Now, for those of you that have heard other videos that I have done, um, I found reflexology because I was super sick. So back in my early 30s, when I would get sick, I would do what most other people do. And I would just pop a pill to make pain go away, push through whatever I had to push through in order to get what I needed to done. Sound familiar? All right. So what had happened is I had suffered from anxiety disorders and panic attacks. And it got to the point that medication no longer worked for me. So I wasn't getting relief no matter what I tried. And in a desperate, um, very desperate state where life was numb. Like I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't function. I couldn't get what I needed to done. I had responsibilities. I could not push anymore. And I was really trying to figure out how to figure it out. <laughs> Traditional methods were no longer working. So I was forced to look in areas that most people don't. And in that path was reflexology. So I had seen reflexology charts. Have you seen those? And I was really starting to wonder how the body was connected naturally. And the reason I knew that there was something to those charts is because I had been seeing a reflexology therapist while I had an uncle that was really sick with lung cancer and his reflexes in the lung reflexes were sore and when I had gone to the reflexology therapist and asked where those points in the feet and the hands were, they were the lung reflexes. Like there's no way that he could have figured that out. So that clued me in. There had to be something more to reflexology than just rubbing feet, right? And I decided to take the course to understand how the body works together holistically because if I could figure out how the body worked together holistically, then maybe I could figure out my problem and get back to living, which was my number one goal back then. Now, I did take the course and when I was studying, what would happen is I would have a practice client in front of me and I was so concentrated on trying to figure out where the reflexes were, I wasn't paying attention. So I had the person's foot here, which is not where you actually need to practice, but I was concentrating on what I was doing and <laughs> every once in a while I'd hit a tender reflex and the person would jump or their foot would jump and I would think like what like I'm not applying any extra pressure what's going on here but you just kind of go through it and you go through it. I managed to get certified I figured out where all the reflexes are good news <laughs> and I started having clients that wanted to have reflexology sessions. Well, I mean, I knew where the reflexes are. I knew where they were supposed to correspond to, but I really still didn't get it until I got it. So what was happening were clients would be coming in. And when the clients came in, let's say that they had a sore knee. Okay, so I would do a full reflexology session, making sure that all those points were stimulated the way that they were supposed to be stimulated, and then the client would leave. I felt good because I gave it my all with what I had learned, and then they would come back for the next session and they would let me know that the pain had reduced, which was amazing to me, but I didn't think that the sessions had anything to do with it because I didn't know what I didn't know back then. And um, I remember the first time it happened, I had a client that come with a knee issue and they were really struggling. The, the knee surgery was booked because they couldn't walk properly. And so it took probably seven sessions before that client was able to walk normal. Lo and behold, knee surgery got canceled. Crazy. 
I couldn't figure out what that client did. And when I asked them, what, what are you doing? How, how did you cancel your knee surgery? Like, that's amazing. Well, the answer was I'm doing reflexology. I'm like, yeah, but what are you doing? The answer was I'm doing reflexology. And that was the only thing different that that client had done. So at that point, I figured out that there was something more to this reflexology than just a foot rub. But I didn't understand how it worked. So at that point, I went back to my books and I really had to take a good look at what exactly was going on because I didn't understand how it was possible. I, I, I mean, I understood the theory, kinda, but I didn't get what I didn't get because I was so stuck in the traditional way of doing things where you pop a pill and everything goes away that I needed to really go back and understand what it was that was helping the body to heal. So when I did that, I went back in and I understood how reflexology works with all the different body systems. And then I really started to concentrate on what systems to focus on in order to help my clients get the best results. And it has been an amazing journey ever since because when you understand how the body works together holistically, what to stimulate in order to help the body communicate the way it was designed to originally, then you get to watch so many things change. Now, everybody's different. I said everybody, not everybody. <laughs> everybody is different too. But when you are working with specific reflexes, when you are able to work with that body, like it's unique, you focus on what that body has imbalanced and you are able to help it restore its normal balance, then you get to see clients get results, which is the most rewarding thing. So when, when a body has an unbalance, it can come from three different things, stress, stress, or stress, right? So it, the very first thing that we try to discover is if it was an emotional stress, a nutritional stress, or a physical stress. And sometimes it's a combination of one, two, or three things, right? Like sometimes when the imbalance comes in, it can be related to an emotional stress that is causing um, poor, poor nutritional choices. Or if depression hits, you don't have the energy to work out, right? So there are so many contributing factors to everything and understanding how that specific person has dealt with specific stress and then help them to relieve it because you understand how the body works together holistically is a powerful tool in your tool belt that makes you feel good when you're able to use it. So um, I hope that this video has helped give you some insight into the difference between a foot rub, which is just following the steps of a reflexology treatment and actually doing reflexology. Because when you don't understand the, um, the body systems, when you don't understand how they work together with each other and the whole body works together holistically, when you do the steps for a reflexology treatment, you're hitting all the spots, but it's different when you know exactly where to ask questions, how to stimulate the reflexes, and how to get the body communicating together, and so that um, the client gets the best results possible from any session 
that you give. And that is why I enjoy teaching foot reflexology and it's a passion that gets me up every morning. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer those for you as well. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.